never really thought it was going to be quite this moving, and we are being plunged into darkness. That's a nightmare. What, what, what I say that we were surprised by the brightness of Bailey's beads as it was Liz and the, the thing to say about eclipses is that every eclipse is different this is why there are people that that obsessively follow them around the globe because you, you never quite know about the details of Bailey's beads you saw actually there I think the camera expos had changed didn't it? that's why it was it whited that's out really almost right but then you saw those Bailey's beads disappear very small diamond ring I thought, um, compared to the ones I've seen before. I, now we're going to see an, another diamond ring as, as the moon passes over the sun again. We, we should see it emerge from, I think, the bottom right of that image. I think you're beginning to see the, the diamond ring. So that would be the sun emerging through a valley on the moon. So you're seeing the lunar geography there. As Liz said, the sun's very active at the moment. That's why we had the auroral displays across the northern UK. Um, and so you see those prominences. We're gonna, we'll, we'll get more analysis of this actually on the show tonight at yes, nine o'clock. We're going to have another look back on this both after this and then later on stargazing live tonight. But um, you see that you see that the moon is moving across to a sort of the what the the, the ten o'clock position. So it's, and, and so there, there is the diamond ring. Oh look at that now! Ah, yeah. Well, that's a beautiful diamond ring, isn't it? And you see how bright the sun is because just that momentary. So sort of flash of light and then suddenly the eclipse is gone for another, what, 85 years. <laughs> so <laughs> well, so yeah. we're going to have to wait 85 years to see another of those. We actually have a shot from the ground in the fair. We've got Chris and Chris there. Thank you very much indeed. Um, the light has just, just reappeared. Um, everybody's in a little bit of shock around here. All these uh, young children around here <laughs> were screaming and shouting and suddenly pitch black. Absolute silence and eeriness in a way. People were rather nervous. Yes, it was a very precious thing we just experienced, Chris. That shadow plunged us into darkness and it felt like night. It truly felt like night. And standing here for those two minutes, it was sometimes easy to forget that it wasn't night, it was an eclipse because it felt almost normal. And then very quickly, just as fast as it has appeared, that light appeared from behind us again. 3,000 kilometers an hour, the shadows raced away, raced away across the North Atlantic now, we're back in daylight. That is almost as spectacular, the light reappearing. Because suddenly we were in pitch black, and it raced across, and as we can feel now, it's getting brighter and brighter by the second. Yes, but the darkness, wasn't it totally dark? Yes. I couldn't see anything, barely to see you, and it was a plunge, complete darkness. But Again, easy to forget that it was this column of darkness stretching 240,000 miles up to the moon that we were standing in, a very 